So today we're going to demonstrate the best way to install the Hawk lapel microphone onto your uniform. The first thing I recommend is to have a buttonhole sewn on your shirt on the seam right above the radio. So the cable is going to pass through and connect to the quick release adapter. Uh, what that prevents is the cable being crimped or caught on your uniform or on your gun belt. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is attach the ear mold to the clear tube. It has the elbow on the side here, and it depends if you want the left or right ear. I'm going to go with the, uh, let's see, the left ear. There's a back side to the ear mold where the elbow connects to. So I'm going to attach that. And if you could see, the uh, clear tube is on the wrong side of the ear mold. So what you do is simply twist the ear mold with the clear tube and the elbow. So the curve of the ear mold matches the curb of the tube. Then what you do is connect the tube with the fin ultra ear tip. You're going to put this little tip inside the crevice of your ear and just massage the rest so it fits comfortable. Then what I do, I bring the tube to the back side of the collar and I'm going to clip it on. You're going to see right here the clip. It's a little tricky. But you just clip it on here and then follow the cable to the opposite side of the shoulder. Now what I'm going to do is clip on the microphone. So I like to clip it around center mass. Then with the rest of the cable, I'm going to go inside the shirt. And with the pre-sewn buttonhole, you're going to see how convenient now it is to pass it through. And this part's a little tricky. It has these tiny pins and this key that matches the female on the adapter on the holes here. So you hold it from the strain relief and you gently twist it until it seats and then you push it in. Then put the uh, radio back in the holster and button up your shirt. The rest of the cable what I like to do is tuck it into the collar and then connect the top button. So now you have a really clean look it makes it much easier if you are uh, either in a foot pursuit or get into a fight, nobody could grab on anything. So to disconnect, this actually has a metal sleeve that's kind of like a gas hose that's spring loaded. So you just pull up and out. So connect with the strain relief, disconnect with the metal spring loaded connector. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's say I want to wear the Fin Ultra on the right side. So what I do is remove the earpiece, and you're going to take it off the elbow again, put on the other unit or other ear mold, and again, you have to twist it so the ear mold curve matches the curve of the tube. Now it's on the right side. So another thing I want to do is unclip it from the back side and reverse the clip so now the tube is pointing to the right side of my body. So now I will get this and put it in my ear. Again what I'm going to do is just put the little tip of the fin onto the inside of the crevice, massage it in there. This is what it should look like and now it's on the right side of the ear. Okay, here's a quick troubleshooting tip. If you cannot hear out of the earpiece or the ear mold, it could be a couple of reasons. Either there's condensation that formed inside the tube or maybe some impurities that are in there. So the first thing I like to do is remove the tube and put the speaker to your ear. With another radio, do a radio check. Check one, two, three. And if you could hear through the speaker, there's no problem with the electronics there's an impurity in the tube. So you just grab some canned air with the nozzle, blow it out, it'll clean all the impurities out of the tube or you could soak it in warm water, put it back in the tube, screw it back in and you should be able to hear very clear at that time. 